what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix the not launching or not storing properly issue you're currently having with battle.net so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to navigate to the bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. Once you're finished with that, navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're gonna click into processes and once you clicked onto processes, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. And type in b in order to find battle.net if nothing pops up it's good for you if something pops up you simply need to right click it and end the task once you're finished with that i want you to end the task manager again next step is going to be to take your battle.net launcher on your desktop your shortcut if and if you don't have it there you simply navigate to the bottom left corner open up your windows search function and, and search for it drag it right back on your desktop take it right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties once your battle.net properties pop up, I want you to click into compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable run this program in compatibility mode 4. Select Windows 8. Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. And afterwards, I simply want you to double click it and launch your game or your launcher in this case, and this should fix your issue. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.